Welcome back to Flowworks and I hope you've had a fantastic week. Let's have a quick recap on last week's painting. I think it sort of dried and come out absolutely stunning. Some real big brush marks in this. Um, so yeah, really, really do love this piece. So with the excitement of last week's piece, we're going to be taking down this canvas, going up with a new piece of canvas and we're going to do another square format painting. But this week we're going to be trying some different paints. I've been following a YouTuber called Rajan Seth is an abstract painter. Check him out, I'll add him in the description below. He's a really, really good abstract artist painter and I think he also teaches online courses as well. So I watched some of his content and recently he was talking about a couple of paints, Payne's Grey by um, Art Discount and also I picked up some silver as well, which he sort of uses a lot of in his paintings. And additional to that, I also picked up some Corallium Blue, I think it is number 130. So this week it's gonna be all about using those three colors to create a brand new piece of art. Obviously Rajan Seth has got his own style, his own technique, so yeah, I'd urge you to go and watch him on how he sort of creates his abstract paintings. But we're gonna try using these three colors in the style that I paint with, see what we can come up with. And fingers crossed we're gonna be left with something we wanna hang on our wall. So with all that being said, let's get this one down, get a new piece of canvas up and let's get painting. We're ready to start. We're ready to start. Is that one too bright? That one might be a little bit overexposed. I'll just give you a quick look at the palette. That's the Payne's Grey, that's that blue, and plenty of white mixed in some Floatrol and some Gloss Medium. And I've loosely mixed it up, just like I've been doing in my, in my last paintings. It's surprising, literally, how much white you actually need when you start painting. I mean, I'm just buying tubes of it now, and just going through it like there's, there's no tomorrow. So the same process as before, just getting that paint out onto the canvas as quick as possible. As I've taped off a horizon line, that's off centre. And the other thing I've done is I lightly sprayed just the canvas, just to wet the canvas slightly to help that paint move. Gonna go in a little bit heavier with this paint grey and just whack that right in the middle. Be as bold as you can sometimes. I love sort of pre-mixing on the, on the fly, it's really good. Now I'm just going in with the blues and the whites. Over this side. Get that in there. Picking up on that Payne's Grey and I'm just continuing that sort of colour off to the side where that streak has gone all the way through. I'm just grabbing some of that Payne's Grey right in the corner of the brush and I'm just pushing in that brush at a little bit of an angle just to give that definition. This side. Okay, now it's off with the tape. Okay, we're now going to start to introduce the silver into that mix as well. So again, that's just roughly mixed on the palette, nice and thick. Just following that horizon line. Doesn't matter if you go slightly over, as long as it's roughly where it is, it doesn't matter. You were everything I didn't need until you left. Now I'm dancing around my living room. I get drunk on the thought of you and I. When you were mine, see your eyes in every stranger. Like you used to, yeah, like you used to 
bold move. Paint's grey and we are going solid in there. Not solid but dark. We're now going to actually introduce a tad of yellow into the mix. And then just gently mix that more paints grey and it's going to be dark right down here. Stepping back all the time and then just deciding what your next move is. Okay, we're going to get some of this silver out. So some of that pure silver dumped straight onto the palette. And we're going to go straight in with some lines. It's almost like a metallic silver, so it really sort of jumps off of the canvas. Really nice. I'm just trying to in introduce that into some of the areas where there's contrast. And let's try and get some brush marks in there. And there might just be something going on up here. Caught in the morning, held in the silence. You with your coffee, bathed in light. I'm the silver's got like a proper shim to it. I tell you what, I'm just gonna do some drag down to the silver. Part of you. Part of you. Takes it out of me that I have to watch as we break in perfectly. You're my blind spot at every turn, and the further that we're spinning, it only gets worse. Where we are, yeah, this silver has got so much body to it. It's really, really nice. I don't think I've used the paint as good as that metallic silver. It's really cool. I wouldn't have it any of the way. Any of the way. Watching your tail lights fade in the distance. There's a couple of elements that I absolutely love, but I feel as though this probably needs a little bit more work here. So we're gonna, probably just gonna try and sort of blend this out a bit. But it's right, we leave it there, hidden in the walls. In the walls. So my verdict on these three paints, I think they're absolutely brilliant. The silver has got so much body to it. It's pretty much like a metallic silver, but it's got so much body and it's really, really thick. So the end result, when you apply this quite thick, is, is stunning. It also leaves like a shimmery effect to it as well. And I'll also put a link below in the description where I picked up these paints as well, but definitely try them out. Payne's Grey is really good as well. Previously, I've sort of used blacks and yeah, they're a little bit too heavy, but this, is, this just takes the edge off of that black and you can sort of really darken up some of those areas that you want to darken up. I'm really hot. So it's really interesting when I watch my videos back of now where the stage I'm at in terms of the pieces of art that I'm creating. I think you sort of naturally progress into the style that you want to sort of stick with. I really absolutely do love this type of style. It's bordering on abstract and bordering on a seascape, which are probably my two sort of main favourite things. So yeah, if you want to give this a go yourself, you can. Just watch how I followed it. 
I was just using one brush. I didn't even clean that brush out. I use exactly the same brush each time and I'm just blending away in certain areas, applying it in thick, using the brush at an angle to sort of create those light streaks and just creating contrast, stepping back from the piece and sort of working out where you want to sort of feed in that color. So it's as dead simple as that. And once you apply all those things together, you end up creating a piece of artwork just like this. Once this is stretched onto a canvas, framed onto a wall, it will look like any contemporary modern art piece for your room. Just so you know, I tend to paint as flat canvases. There's two reasons for that. Number one is storage of your painting. So, because I'm doing a video each week, I'm sort of accumulating a lot of paintings. And number two, when they get shipped out to different countries, they have the option to have it framed or they have a cheaper option to have it rolled as a canvas, as an original piece of art, which will reduce the shipping cost tremendously. So yeah, this can go into a tube as opposed to a great big canvas that has to be boxed and could get damaged in transit. So there are two main reasons why I paint directly onto the canvas without it being stretched. Also, please place your comments down below what you think of this piece. Please give me an indication with a lights up or a thumbs down so I can indicate whether you, the viewer at home, likes this piece of art, which really sort of helps me as well. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this one. I'm James, this is Flowwork, and I upload a brand new painting every single Wednesday at 8 p.m. So if you wanna watch more of me painting and creating artworks just like this, hit that subscribe button hit the bell notification and you'll be alerted every single week. Tune in next week. I'll probably be doing another square piece because I'm absolutely into that at the minute. Have a great week and I'll catch you next week in next week's Flowworks.